Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back. Raiding, man the guns. The Dutch and Swedish have managed to unite their territories. In yes. a, uh, a glorious military victory over the French. Mm. And now I'm just in manpower hell because of trying to military police this area. I have, like, so much manpower. I would love some of it. Why don't you I've deploy a crap ton more troops and actually defend your ports then? What are you short on? Nothing. Well, deploy more men then, you madman. Yeah, okay. Garrison your ports. <laughs> I, need to, I need to design an infantry template that's not got artillery in. Yeah. I think <laughs> would be fairly handy. What should our... I'm going to unpause if that's all good. Yeah, sure. Cool. What should our next game be, do you reckon? Oh, Jesus, the... Uh, well, I was thinking... There's a lot of enemy this. ships in the freaking med. We should we should definitely redo UK US at some point, but we should delete the fleet again. So we have, so we have to start from scratch. Yeah. We should yeah, delete we should good. delete all the fleets and then give ourselves more dockyards. I think we should do UK US. I think we should do UK US co-op first. Okay. Cuz I think US US, US UK co-op mad buffs French go fascist. I think that'd be good. <clears throat> I think that'd be very good. <clears throat> Ideally, you'd have a third player, and they could be, uh, you could have, I mean, you could do that with, uh, like, a few people. You could have, uh, we could try that as, like, a viewer's stream at some point, once the game's out. You have, uh, I mean, UK, US, mad buffed ally, uh, Axis, and then a player in each Commonwealth nation. Oh, yeah. What is that? One, two, three, four, five big ones, isn't it? Six, you count there are five. Line. There are five Dominions. Thing. Yeah. Canada, There's Malaya. Australia, you're gonna... Australia, New Zealand, Malaya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I meant Dominion in the literal sense of, the, of them being Dominion. Uh, okay, fair enough. Well, that doesn't count uh, India then. Is India not Dominion? It's a colony. Next one down. Fair enough. Our convoy rating is going pretty well. We seem to be very consistently engaging the enemy convoys, destroying a few, and then retreating before we take any sub casualties. Yeah. How are you doing Why? sub losses? Because I've lost. Uh, Not lost very many, I don't think. I've lost one. I've lost seven total. Which is not bad, considering we've been fighting nearly continuously. I finally have another research slot. <laughs> in the in the naval losses screen, does this older Holy shit. The Sorry, current excuse year? me. <laughs> what, what does older you say? in the naval losses screen does old yeah. does older include the current year, or is it only stuff before the current year? Uh, no, I think it's only stuff before the current year. Yeah, yeah right, no, it is definitely. I've cause... lost I've lost fourteen submarines total. Then. Right. So what is that? That's, yeah, it's double me. That's probably about right in terms of numbers. I'd expect you to have about that many more than me. And two <clears throat> subs down on what I started with, but obviously now a greater proportion of mine are sub threes, not yeah. twos. For um, sure, for sure. The, yeah, what I'm noticing so far is that I think the value of dockyards to nations that can't, that aren't going to dominate this, the ocean is much greater than before, because there are now more ways that you, as a minor nation that doesn't have sea control, yeah. can impact the larger players by laying mines with submarines or you know convoy raiding. Yeah, it sounds right to me. Um, I definitely think that submarines are the way to go for mine laying because destroyers just get sunk if you, have, if, you have, if you haven't got control. Yeah, I think if you were Britain, destroyer mine laying would probably be. Oh uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're Britain, yeah. But you can't yet tell. Like you can't you know, yet set it like you know destroyers only mine lay at night, for example. You can't yeah. do that yet. Yeah. When you when you can do that, I really hope we can do that at one point because that would be really useful. Well, just any. There's no currently. There's no detection difference day and night. Well, but the, yeah, but I don't think, but yeah, they have to add that into. They very much should do, add that in. Bevelen. Okay, I think I've met my manpower problems now. Got a few more DDs. God, my uh, yeah, my my poor heavy cruiser. Fought valiantly against the Italian Navy and is. Uh, <laughs> Did he die? No, no, no. It went down to like 10% health, but it recovered. It's just going to take months and months to repair it. As soon as you take yeah, Suez, we can yeah. start working on actually emptying the Mediterranean of Allied ships. 
Yes. And uh, Italy does have a war goal on Greece. I'm surprised they haven't used it. Glorious. Combat after combat where they uh, they engage with like a sizable screening force and we still get away having killed their destroy their uh, subs. Sorry, their convoys. Yeah, mm. I think it's I think the reason is that they're, they're still using early destroyers as their destroyers yeah, as their so they escorts have... and our submarines are effectively fast well, as yeah. fast or Yeah. Yeah. They're quite we're quite fast. Mine are well the 940 subs are where is it? 23 knots. Remember, by the way, you need to invent anti-air guns for your ships now. Yeah, and you have to invent the anti-air artillery things in order to get uh, better anti-air on your ships. Do you, do you see what I mean? I didn't put that very clearly at all. Which which research are you talking about? The uh, under artillery, the left-hand side, the anti-air ones, unlocks the better anti-air modules for ships as well as the... the uh, like the dragged anti-air. Improved anti-air. Yeah, so improved oh, anti-air. Oh, oh, in artillery, you mean? Yeah. Right, okay, what, what, what yeah, I, I haven't... No, no, sorry, I, I was just looking at the naval screen. Ah, yeah, fair. Country. Oh, right, okay. I didn't realise. Yeah, I didn't until... So, uh, now, so, now, so, that, so that's now, like, a much more... Yeah. Like, even, even Britain will want to do... Or yeah. Britain or Germany will want to do that now. Because yeah, it's good. A on your ships is super important. Very greeny and say sanitarius. It does look amazing. It's cool. All right, so I've invented uh, the 1940 destroyers. Good. Need the XP to actually use them though. There's no enemy ships in the Iberian coast anymore, so I think I may uh, go back to doing a little raiding over there. I'm going to focus more of my industry into uh, raiders rather than um, yes. capital ships and, and destroyers these days. Seems, okay. seems sensible. Oh, I'm building... Uh, what do you have on your raider subs, by the way? <clears throat> on my raider subs? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, my, I, have? I, I, have, uh, I have one module thing. One... Um, uh, engine and nothing else on my raiding subs to make them as cheap as possible. Oh right, no, I have three. They have three torpedoes and maximum engine. Max engine is definitely sensible, which I just realised I actually didn't use. My mine costs seven hundred and eighty. <clears throat> Mine's five hundred and forty, and since it's right. just meant to be fighting, and it's all mine is also faster than yours. Yeah. Because torpedoes slow them down. Extra torpedoes slow them down. Although not if you have them in the torpedo slots. It's if you have them in the... Uh... Oh, also, do you not have a snorkel on yours? <clears throat> no, not yet. I'm resetting that now. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to get... I definitely need to start building some of those with the... Uh... Yeah, except for us. I haven't finished designing these yet. All right, excellent. Yeah, just look at all these combat results in the Eastern Med. So many just yeah, raid, raid, raid. No, uh, no casualties. Raid. Northern French naval Stop invasion. Attacking, my God. The other thing about raiding is I think uh, naval bombers are pretty good. You could also use long yeah. attack bombers for the uh, the really long range. Oh, you should uh, start cranking infrastructure in the parts of Libya that have oil. Could you give us an update on what you're doing? Absolutely. So uh, this is actually part three, four actually of this uh, this series. So you've missed quite a bit. We're playing as the uh, the Netherlands and Spain. We deleted all the navies in the world before we started, so everyone began on a level playing field. Um, which makes oh, it obviously not... much easier for us. But we did play as you know the Dutch and Germany and uh, and Spain rather. So you know we're taking on some big boys here. Um, oh no, Brit Britain's going destroyer focus. That's probably not good. We're going to start having to face some decent destroyers with our uh, our subs in the med in the uh, Atlantic even. Mm. And we are at war currently. Here's the faction map mode for you. There's the Axis Pact of Rome. The coup almost won. The allies in the common turn. For some reason, all of uh, Spain, uh, all of China joined the common turn. Sorry, joined the Axis, 
and that triggered an early front against the Soviets, which Germany is winning because the Soviets are having to fight all of China at the same time. Japan is having a civil war, and the border, the front line of the civil war has moved one tile since it began three years ago. Um, what else is going on? <laughs> the United States is not yet in the war. They have mobilized, however, and so they're building a lot of dockyards. They already have 45. That is about the current situation, and we're currently just raiding the bejesus out of them. I'm focusing on the Mediterranean, while uh, Attaway is also raiding in the Atlantic, I believe. Mm, I have some reading in the Atlantic. I'm reading across the Med and the Atlantic currently. <clears throat> right. Uh, I mean, I'm in the Iberian and African coasts, as well as the whole Med, basically. Right. You are most welcome for the update. It's my pleasure. Where's the safest sea for us right now? I need somewhere to exercise my fleet. Uh, Western Med. African, no, I think African coast is substantially safer. We're also laying some mines. Uh, we've got nigh on 500 mines now in the Tyrrhenian Sea, which is going to cause real problems for any uh, Italian ships moving through the region. Well, I'm sorry you missed the other streams, but they will all be on YouTube. So make sure you're, you know subbed and all that good stuff and you'll get those is Adelaide not streaming this time or is Twitch just being dumb are you streaming I'm not streaming currently I'll, I'll be streaming after I have dinner Santos my I'm gonna go for dinner in like the next well whenever whenever it's cooked in the next like 10 <clears throat> 20 minutes um, once I come back I'll stream we need to uh, capture Greece for the chromium yes there's also aluminium, which will help your air force. Although you've got quite a bit of aluminium in France, I see. Yeah, once we finish uh, Egypt and uh, and Syria, we should uh, move on Greece if we can. Yep. <clears throat> Although, you know, we're only winning these battles because we're not engaging. If we were to invade and they were to grab our convoys, we'd be in a more tricky situation. Oh, uh, you should probably ban the central med and the Eastern Med, so that your supplies go by land towards your troops moving into Egypt. Do you know what I mean by ban? Have yeah, I, yeah? I, do know, I do know what you mean, yeah. Cool. Hoi four, woo! <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad you're pleased. Germany is just in Scandinavia. Oh, that'll be uh, unfortunate. Be that. More people in the Allies against us. <clears throat> I'm going to research... Some more fuel technology, I think. Oh, yeah. Or actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll do all the fuel refining research. You give me everywhere that has oil, and I'll use my good technology to extract it, and then I'll just lend Lee see whatever you need. Seems okay. smart. Cool. Fall of Moscow, Jesus. It's Germany balling out of control here. Oh, crap, mm. yeah. I have noticed Germany crushing. Uh Soviets. Yeah, well, they've got. Uh, they have got oil. To be to be perfectly fair, that is a that's a credit to the AI work that's been done to yeah. get Germany to manage fuel correctly. Because my uh, work, good point. Yeah, that must have been tricky. Yeah, it's Cause, true. Because the, the introduction of fuel is effectively a nerf to Germany you know, in a lot in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, a harsh one. So it's a credit to the to Paradox's AI work that Germany is not terrible. Yeah. I'm so mad I didn't get Luxembourg. I'm actually furious. Do you think... Uh, fine, fine. I'll go service by requirement. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. I don't like it. But I'll do it. Alright, I'm going to exercise my fleet in the African coast on do not engage. The orange of the flag needs to be no more orange. I'm terribly sorry, Santos. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll get right on that. How safe is moving through the meds on uh, convoys right now? Uh, how do I see? No, I'm just asking. Like, have you lost anyone recently moving through the Mediterranean, or have you had convoys? anyone? Convoys? No, no. I think I think we're more or less okay. Okay, cool. So far as I. 
I remember I mean, the first I would, I would move them through the Western Med if you can. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. The Terranian is actually safer than the Western Med right now, which I think is quite funny. <clears throat> I'm exercising these guys down here, by the way, in case you're wondering, chat, because I need the naval experience. Naval exercises right. give a lot of naval experience these days. How's your fuel situation, by the way? Full. I've got 360k. You're full? Okay, cool. I'm going to lend lease you slightly less because I am not full. Yeah, just just, just, just drop. I'm gaining 2.7 a day. 1,000. 2.7 thousand? Yeah. I was only I sending you 500 a day. Yeah. Where's all your fuel? <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm importing a bunch from you. I'm importing... 48 from you. Oh, you're importing... Right, you're importing oil from me. Yeah. Of course, right, yeah. I'm on free trade, so that's part of why. All right, I've stopped exporting any to you. Yeah, I don't I don't need it anymore. Can you see the mines? Yeah, look. That's a mine right there. Uh, Follow my port garrisons. Excavation would also help with uh, me getting oil, I guess. Right, let's see how good the uh, AI is at assigning my garrisons. Mm, yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sold on that particular <laughs> thing. But yeah, if you're laying torpedoes with the uh, subs, make sure you get torpedo tube mine deployment. It's a twenty percent increase to the number of mines you lay. <clears throat> okay. Pretty darn good. Oh, yes. The basic Snuvia, a device that allows a submarine to run its main engines underwater, quickly recharge its battery batteries without exposing itself to hack from the surface. Beautiful. Oh, wow, I've been banging out uh, subs, I didn't realize. How large are you making your wolf packs? About eight, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I've been going with something similar. We'll have to see what's uh, what's optimal. I'm now trading um, seventeen factories to you. Is that about seventeen? Yes. Uh, you might be doing more than me, actually. My steel, Six, my steel needs are rising rapidly. Ten. <clears throat> Thirty. Yeah, I should uh, industrialize uh, my. I'm going to industrialize my steel producing areas, a bunch. Okay, I am going to have to go to dinner now. Now, already. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Well, could, well yeah, I'd say. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Well, I will end this part for YouTube. It was a very brief part, but oh well. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, stream, don't go anywhere. I'm going to do tests and stuff. See you later, Edwin. Yeah, I'll be back in like 20, 25 minutes probably. Yeah, cool. But it won't be that long. Cool. Bye, YouTube.